You guys really let me down this time, you know that? You wear that? Huh? I give you one thing to do while I'm gone. One thing. Bring the large wooden horse inside. Could you do that? No. You couldn't do that. Could you? Could you? Dralis, we have a good reason as to why we didn't bring that in, but I don't want to get into it right now. Really, Neebs? What's the reason? I don't want to get into it, Dralis. There is no good reason to Dralis. Murder and the Neebs were playing a stupid game all day, and I told them they should do it, and they didn't listen to me. They didn't listen to me. It's not a stupid game, Drac. That is stupid. Your, your voice is stupid, you little crybaby. <laughs> you, you shut up, little you bitch. Murdon, what are you wearing? What? It's my, it's my party mask. You said we were having a party. Well, the party's been canceled. Oh. And let me tell you why. Let's say we're all on the battlefield. And let's say that I give Neebs an order to cover Murdon's back while he's preparing a spell. And Neebs decides to ignore that order. Now Murdon's dead. <laughs> Good job, Neebs. How long do you think we're going to last as a team if that's how we follow orders? Less than a week if we have a battle every day. Sorry I'm late, Duralius. It was Nana's birthday. Uh, Broof, there's a sword in your back. Thanks, Duralius. Hey, there's a giant wooden horse out front. Someone should probably move that thing. All right. Listen, I don't want to talk about this anymore. So let me make this perfectly clear. I want that horse inside the castle by sunset. Is that understood? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Understood the right. Yeah, it's castle, sunset. Be there. Who's the kid, Doralis? Oh, hey, everybody. This is Harry. Well, hey, Harry. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, Harry. Hey, Harry. <sighs> Harry's going to be staying with us for a few days. I figured we could use an intern. Uh, plus, he's been training at Shackleton, so he could prove useful. <laughs> Shackleton. <laughs> Sha <laughs> Dick. Dick prick, bitch. <laughs> oh, hey, look at me. I'm too good to go to public wizarding school. I go to Shackleton because my parents are rich. My parents were killed when I was a baby. Oh, look at me. My dead parents left me a lot of money. Murdoch. And now I'm just Murdoch. bathing in it. Enough. Harry, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, uh, I go to Shackleton. Uh. And, um... I have lots of friends there, and I really like it, and oh, my favorite class is lunch. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, and uh, I, I do enjoy a good game of Skyball. Skyball? What is that? Oh, it's a wonderful game. You, you get on your magic broom, and then you go up into the sky, and the object of the game is to take your balls and to try to get them into the golden snatch. Oh, hold up a second. Did you just say you have a flying broom? Well, where is it, man? Oh, it's in me locker back at Shackleton. What? Can you take it out? Oh, of course, sir. And you didn't bring it? Oh, no, sir. Didn't think I'd need it. It's a flying broom, Harry. Yes, didn't think sir. you would need it? No, I, I can't imagine. Well, hey, when wouldn't you need a flying broom? Well, I don't know. I just don't think I'd need it, sir. What if you're being, like, I don't know, chased by a giant spider or something, Harry? Or a giant snake? You think you would need a flying broom then? Or well, hypothetically speaking, three thugs in the woods. Yes, but sir... Harry, it's a fucking flying broom! Uh, Harry, we are all glad to have you here at Duralius and Associates. So, yeah, please make yourself at home. And if you need anything at all, just ask. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Duralius, you all right? Yeah, walking, I'm fine. It's just... The sun is set, and the horse is still out here. Tell you what, Duralius, you and me, let's roll up our sleeves and put the horse inside ourselves. <laughs> All right, men, they're about to bring us inside. Ready your weapons. Not going to do it. And on principle alone, if I can't delegate authority, this team doesn't stand a chance. Spoken like a true leader, Duralius, I'm proud of you. Now, if we're not going to move the horse, let's get inside. It's going to be a cold, cold night. This is bullshit! <laughs> 